GOPQ and China sources that are very obvious bias locations. Some of these locations in China are simply social media posting places that won't censor you when you call for the murder of the President of the United States and their GOPQs. So these are the sources I was aimed at. But no, I aimed you at a YouTube video. No, you aimed me at a YouTube video that cited a source that is based on uh, gadflies in the uh, propaganda arm of the Republican Party that have to literally find a server someplace that'll put up with them openly calling for murdering our president. So, um, <clears throat> because it's a felony. Um, Jack Maxey. Uh, he's one of the one of many people who is quote unquote uh, doing disclosure of Hunter Biden's laptop piecemeal uh, is avoiding disclosure or discussion and won't talk to anybody because <coughs> he's being hounded and threatened just like the original uh, uh, Isaac or whatever his name is um, uh, in in Delaware who's a computer shop owner who is incredibly biased and wanted to help the true president and overlord of, of the damned uh, Trump stay in office by creating an October surprise with Giuliani where they revealed just enough information to piecemeal it instead of giving you all the data which would show that they were full of shit about Hunter Biden's laptop. October 2020, somebody created three additional folders on the drives. Uh, mail, salacious pics package, and big guy file. Modifying evidence like that heavily. <clears throat> Inserting random shit with time and date stamps that don't match. Or show that they were altered to try to look like they had the proper time and date stamps. Um, people saying, well, um, such and such liberal leaning uh, uh, newspaper verified the laptop. Or the FBI did. Or the FBI lo lost the laptop drives. Trump Jr. lied about the FBI losing the laptops. He, he lied. But there's a video. Yeah, he still lied. He asked questions and pushed buttons at the time he did a video to push a subject matter a certain way so he could get a certain answer. Uh, Trump Jr. knows for a fact that the FBI didn't lose any hard drives or laptops. <clears throat> he also knows whether or not they really have them or ever were given them. The only people who have claimed to have gotten a hold of the drives from the Delaware computer shop owner are Rudy Giuliani, who is a biased, overtly jackass type person who's willing to lie. And another political gadfly that hung out with Steve Bannon, again, inheriting from Bannon the shitbag status, and also himself being willing to just tell you just enough to prop up whatever you want to believe, but make sure that he doesn't include the parts that completely blow the story out of the water like so much shit bagging. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so one of your disclosure people is saying, I'm avoiding, not I'm not avoiding disclosure, I'm just running away because I've got death threats. There are black SUVs and black helicopters following me. And somebody altering the chain of evidence to where it's broken, well, we can ignore that because as long as it's negative against a liberal anywhere including one who isn't running for office and isn't the person who was elected after this all failed to stop the election, including an overt attempt to prevent our votes from being counted by attempting a coup d'etat in a certain January day. And then I get told, yeah, you, uh, you haven't been able to see the photos and audio coming out yet. Photo and audio, and then the person leaves a set of links that go to two channels that go way out of their way to sell, sell, sell. They're really overselling and overpromising and underdelivering. But one of them shows a set of images that are supposed to be Hunter Biden having sex with women. But that's proof the laptop is authentic. Even though over half of the images are crossing out the faces so we can't double-check anything? Well, we're protecting the innocent. No, you're preventing us from double-checking any of this. If a known streetwalker in, let's say, Chicago is recognized by Reddit, 
They can say, yeah, I, I, we know that streetwalker and, and her friend. We found her too. And we found out when they were in the same city because they were shifting in and out. <clears throat> the photos provided. Do they have a time and date stamp? Is, is any of the uh, metadata still there? Again, this is a claim of dead bang, totally authenticated by the FBI, which it isn't, <clears throat> and authenticated by a newspaper, which it never was, images that are supposed to be Hunter Biden with you know, insolacious pics folder created the day after the October surprise story failed. A Venom Fang fan, a Venom fan, uh, not Venom Fang X, a Venom fan, it's a band, Angel of Damnation 666, of course, I mean, awesome, uh, said, Bwahaha, are you Darth Vader? I'm Yoda, bitch. So anyway, next. My guess is you have not seen any of the uh, photo and audio coming out yet. And maybe a few photos in case you have not seen them yet. Anyone receiving checks from Burisma Holdings uh, needs to go to the Ukraine in person and get it from them to accept your money. No argument. If somebody is taking money from some foreign country, foreign government, <clears throat> I don't care if it's Joe Biden, they shouldn't be allowed to. That's a conflict of interest. But again, the claim is this was happening not to Joe, but Hunter, and it was, or, or maybe Joe. During a period of time, they weren't in office, and Hunter Biden, as far as I know, has never been elected to anything, but I don't know. But Okay. Stop him from collecting checks he's not receiving? Best way to know for sure who's lying is to have Hunter and Joe Biden both take a lie detector test on the validity of everything. But you're not making the computer shop owner... <clears throat> I mean, screw the lie detector test. Give up all the data on the day it was presented. Make Giuliani, under pain of misery-inducing torture, also do full disclosure. And same thing with this other cunt um but yeah okay if you don't want anybody who's currently in office or directly related to them to take any money from the ukraine or russia that would mean trump would have to give a shit ton of money back because his entire family did a bunch of financial advantages during the time they were in office again the claim here is joe biden and or hunter biden took money when none of neither of them were in office they're still influencers. I think they should be excluded anyway, but Donald Trump and his family took bribes while he was in office, period, full stop. Because most of them were given some position where they were told officially, you can't absorb any money and you have to divest your companies. Trump refused to do any of those things to prevent any conflict of interest and went out of his way to peddle influence. That's, that's, he's an influence peddler. But yeah, it's only bad when the Democrats do it when they're not in office and it's not illegal. It's only bad when they do it, not when Trump, while in office as President of the United States, did it. Well, you're just doing whatabouts. Yes, I'm doing whatabout because everybody's doing that. None of these fuckers are in charge of anything anymore. So why are we bringing them up? I don't know. Why are you bringing up Hunter Biden who hasn't, but he's not in position of any kind. But anyway, thanks for the link to the videos. Uh, YouTube ending in D04 and... And uh, the other one ending in dash B-O. <clears throat> I'm not providing a clean link. You'll have to cut and paste them if you want to watch them because they're bogus. One of them shows images that over half of them are ambiguous as fuck and edited. So it may not even be jo Joe Biden's son. And the one or two that look like it's probably Joe Biden is not providing a clean link to the sources. It is trivial to zip up these files and stuff them on the net. Which, of course, now, what is it, three years late? The uh, shop owner is saying he's going to dump it. I'm going to do it any day now. Right. He could have done it three fucking years ago. So could Giuliani. So could this other near-to-well that's popped up like a turd in a punch bowl. All of them could. And they refused. When they were asked, can you give us the files without editing them? They fucking wouldn't do it. And yeah, all of the images show massive amounts of editing. Yeah, I'm sure that Hunter Biden had porn pics of his girlfriends or hookers. I'm assuming they're just hookers. Let's just assume they're hookers. Or thoughts, that hoe over there. Um, 
I'm sure he sat down and very carefully censored out their identities for their protection. Or he didn't, and you guys are trying to make sure we can't double-check whether or not you're bullshitting us. You seem to be defending him. Hunter Biden is a shitbag who should have been accidentally a long time ago for political reasons, if I wanted to be very blunt about it. And Joe Biden having a family member, at least one, there's more, that's that much of a problem, should have negated him being proposed as the person to run for president. The fact that he's got a bunch of other shit wrong with him isn't really helpful either. And even then, with all of this baggage, bullshit, and his slurred speech and his inability to say ATF, he still won an election against Donald Trump because Donald Trump is that shitty of a person. Donald Trump did not win his original election with a majority vote. The majority of the people voted against him. And you go, none of you like that. He was not legitimately elected, except by the the deal breaker or, die, or tie breaker, the Electoral College, which, again, it's our system we have because it's almost impossible to make a completely fair system. But Donald Trump unquestionably had a conflict of interest, and it doesn't matter if it's done to second or third party if they're relatives of his. He still absorbed money and or did dirty deals in the background through proxy, through his family members, like every other mob boss in history. Plausible deniability isn't really plausible at this point. Meanwhile, you're claiming Hunter Biden was acting as a funnel for money and, and influence peddling through Joe Biden when Joe Biden wasn't in office, when Hunter Biden has never been in office. But yeah, I think it's a good idea to get rid of the conflict of interest, but that means that you'd have to admit Donald Trump had a conflict of interest, and so did his family. His entire family is filled with this shit, and people he put in position in many cases, had massive conflicts of interest and were really shitty people to put in place. His kitchen cabinet, as it used to be called, the cabinet, the president's cabinet, being a rogues gallery more than anything else. But oh, no, no, complaining about Joe Biden, sure, why not? Hunter Biden photos, maybe photoshops, definitely altered images instead of just not doing that. And, oh, has it gone through how many edits... I mean, a bunch of the files, according to the people you claim authenticated it, they said the photos and emails had been opened and closed and altered several times. Is the metadata missing because it would show us what version of Photoshop they fucked with those photos on? Next thing is none of these sources, including the ones in China and the GOPQ assholes I saw, none of them provided an unedited backup copy or source material. It's being peddled around by political action committee leaders and propagandists. But thanks for posting a link to it. Anyway, the two videos, which will not have HTTP colon slash slash in front of it, you can highlight them and open a new tab, they're right below the commentary. And the Venom fan, the Venom fan, not Fang, the Venom fan, Angel of Death, Damnation 666, thanks for your commentary about me being Darth Vader. And yeah, um, every foreign government uh, and every foreign company that might have an influence, especially when run by an oligarch in Ukraine or Russia that tries to uh, have business dealings even through a third party uh, with anybody in politics should be banned from doing it, including if they've ever held office. But that would mean that immediately uh, you'd be jailing Rudy Giuliani, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and most of his family. If you really wanted to do this, apples to apples... But most of you posting these comments don't want equal treatment. You want unequal treatment. You want a world where there's an uneven playing field. I call shenanigans. Anyway, um, if the FBI ever authenticates all this data, I, I really doubt it. Well, because uh, somebody tried to just by looking at the files and found so much shit wrong with it. There's no way to authenticate the crap that you guys have presented. There was an attempt on purpose to make sure it was not authenticatable. Sitting on it for three years. I mean, I could do a better job phoning this shit up. But yeah, some of the photos probably are Hunter Biden. But we'll never know which ones because your near-to-well wannabe hackers and disclosure people did everything they could to fuck it up on purpose. So there'd always be doubt because they don't have any definitive evidence against Hunter Biden. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with all of